Right, good morning everyone and especially to Susan from Croquet Australia. Uh, today what I'm going to do is demonstrate the uh, first iteration of the content management system that I'm developing for Croquet Australia. Uh, I elected to uh, write a custom content management system rather than an off-the-shelf like WordPress or etc. Uh, mainly because there are some unique features about Croquet Australia's requirements and particularly future requirements that I think they may want, um, not just from a website, but things like a membership database, etc. And um, with that in mind, I elected to choose a language that I'm comfortable developing with. And um, so that's why I'm writing this system from scratch. Uh, okay, so this is the first iteration. It is really ugly and it is nowhere near feature complete. It is just a proof of concept. Um, so please bear that in mind when you're looking at the system. Um, and it's a very, very quick demo. <laughs> um, okay, so I'll just set up the screen sharing here. So one moment. Okay, so I now have the um, screen shared and you can now see the um, homepage of the new site. Um, so, very exciting, not. Okay, so um, basically, my current thinking is that up the top here, we will have um, a link to the home page for Croquet Australia, and then we'll have links to the various sections across the top here. Um, it's unclear, uh, sorry, uh, the colours obviously are, are, are just default colours with the system I'm using. They, I will change those to... Um, uh, probably to the current uh, green and yellow styling that the current website has, but uh, that will be um, for Susan and I to discuss and implement at a later date. So over on this other tab I've set up here, I've got the, the admin page so that uh, for you to add new pages, There'll be options to edit pages, delete pages, all of those sorts of things. Uh, you'll be able to add news items, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So with that, I at the moment, the only thing you can do is add a new page. What we're seeing here is the pages that currently exist in the system, just the two there. Uh, we'll, I'll click on new page. It's simply a matter of saying, well, what's the name of the page? Demo for Susan. And then now we move into the content for the page. Now, the content, um, the editor here, it uses a syntax called Markdown. And Markdown's a very simplified method of... Uh, very sim simplified editor, but it does allow you to do formatting um, and it really concentrates on you getting the words that you want, and I, which I'm stumbling over at the moment, uh, into your page as quickly as possible. So for a heading, you simply type in the pound symbol or hash symbol, what, whatever your preference there for name is, and then the heading that you want. So, good typing there. Demo for Susan. Um, and then we can simply enter the text that we want to play on screen. Uh, we can have second level headings, such as heading two, 
X4 heading two. And heading three. X4 heading three. Now, the headings, I think, go all the way down to six, but I think if you're going that far, then uh, maybe maybe that's a little bit too far, but you, you certainly that's available for you. Um, you can do bold with a double asterisk, then the text to bold, and close it off with a double asterisk. Um, this is normal text. This is italic text. That just has uh, a single uh, asterisk on either side of the text. You want to uh, italicize. You can do lists, um, list item one, list item two. The, just while we're down here, the little watermark that you see at the bottom of the screen there where the cursor currently is, um, yeah, the little orange logo and, and the design uh, inspect, etc. that there. I'm not sure whether you can see that on this screencast or not, but if you can, that's only there on my development uh, screen. It just allows me to update the code and, um, and it auto syncs a refresh back. So just ignore that. It, you, you won't see it at all, Susan. Um, list item three. We can also do numbered lists. Um, so numbered item one and numbered item two, etc. Uh, in a in the version that I hope that will be ready for our meeting on Tuesday, Susan, um, you'll see a preview screen on the right half of this screen so that you can. Um, see how the editing is going. Um, you know, is the page going to turn out as you expect, etc. So once we've completed the page, um, we hit the publish button. It should just say publish, not publish page. But as I said, there's um, several problems with with this at the moment, um, and I've got a few other items to implement. Just a quick note down there. For example, preview the ability to save a page and continue coming back to edit the page, etc., until you're satisfied it's complete and then you publish. So, yeah, they'll be saving a page, which means only you can see it, um, and and then there's publish a page so that it will save your latest changes and then um, put it out for the world to see on the website. Um, do you want the ability to set a future date and time as to when a page is available? Um, so that's a question for you, Susan, to have a think about. Um, I think it's probably worthwhile implementing. All right, so I'll hit the publish page button and you can see now the page that we've just added has been, um, added to this list of pages. Um, you'll be able to create folders and the like, and, and they all do uh, come up here. Um, and you can drill into the folders just like a standard file system on, on any Windows machine or any uh, Mac, etc. cetera. Um, and they'll flow through to the, to the final website. So if we just flick over to the Croquet, effectively the new Croquet Australia website, this is, by the way, all running on my machine only. It's not available publicly anywhere. Um, 
the page that we've created doesn't just show up on the website. The uh, I'll add a menuing system that can integrate new pages into the menu that you create and the like. But for the moment, I can just simply change the address bar to that new page that we added. Uh, my ability to speak and type at the same time is pretty poor. I'm a man after all. I can only do one thing at once. Okay, uh, demo for Susan. Fingers crossed. I've got that right. And there we go. Uh, and you can see how the different headings have come up. I, we have uh, complete control over that styling. So if you decide that you want underlines, you want different colours for the headings, um, you want headings to appear in all uppercase, etc., etc., we have control over that and we can do that at a later date. Uh, here is the bolded as we requested and here is the italic text, uh, text as we request, requested. Um, and down at the bottom here, the, the list is screwed up because I put two lists um, next to each other, which you don't normally do. Um, but you can see that the lists have worked. Now, uh, so... That's it for this demonstration. Um, as I said, it's really crude, not much there, but with every new system, there's just a lot of grunt work at the beginning to, to get things configured and everything. Um, so I've been through that now, and I expect development to be um, sailing at a much faster pace and... Um, I think I might do these screencasts much, much shorter, um, but I might do them on a very regular basis as each feature um, gets completed. All right, that will do it. Um, I'm sorry, I'll stop the screen sharing. You can finish off looking at my ugly head. Um, so thanks everyone for watching, especially Susan. Uh, I trust you have watched Susan. And um, uh, su subscribe to my YouTube channel here and you'll get uh, emails directly to you uh, when new videos go up so that uh, you'll be aware as things occur. All right. Thanks, Susan. See you later.